This is Joy of Heaven, Saint of the Day for November 10th, as we celebrate the feast of Pope Saint Leo the Great's Day. Pope Saint Leo the Great was a pope during the 400s. He was the first pope to be given the title, the Great. He is also a doctor of the church. Pope Saint Leo the Great is well known for issuing a tome of theological writings and for persuading Attila the Hun to abandon an attack on Italy. Pope Saint Leo the Great was born around the year 400. Details of his birth and early life are not known, but it is thought that his family was from Tuscany and were aristocrats. By the year 431, Leo was a well-known deacon. As he served the church during the papacy of Pope Celestine I, Leo came to be known as intelligent and gifted in bringing conflicting parties to resolution. He was also respected for his sincere love of God. Under Pope Celestine I and his successor, Pope Sixtus III, Leo was often sent to settle both theological and secular arguments. Leo was on one such trip to Gaul to settle a dispute between a chief magistrate and Gaul's head military commanders when Pope Sixtus III died. Leo was unanimously chosen as the next pope in 440. He took his new office very seriously and attempted to carry out his duties faithfully as the successor of Saint Peter. He considered himself as the servant of the servants of God. He eventually came to be known as one of the best administrators of the ancient church. During his papacy, Leo worked to preserve church unity, especially by combating heresy. He worked to preach against Pelagianism and Manichaeism, which were both gaining traction in the church at the time. Leo also resolved a controversy in which some Eastern Christians were questioning church teaching on Jesus' divinity. Leo responded by writing a letter that articulated true church teaching on the divinity and humanity of Christ. His letter is still praised today because it preserved the true teachings of the church and brought peace. Leo was also very courageous in his papacy. He led the defense of Rome against attacks of Attila the Hun in 452, and he was able to persuade Attila the Hun to stop the attack. Leo also worked to increase charitable work in Rome towards the poor and refugees, as well as those suffering from famine. During his time as Pope, Leo became well known for his preaching. He was an eloquent preacher and was able to preach about areas of interest and necessity to his listeners. Some have described the papacy of Pope Saint Leo the Great as one of the most significant papacies in church history. Many of his letters and sermons are still preserved today, and one of them is still used by the church in the Office of Readings. Leo died in 461. Pope Saint Leo the Great's feast day is on November 10. Pope Saint Leo the Great doesn't have an official patronage, but he is a good saint to seek prayers from on many occasions. You can ask Pope Saint Leo the Great to pray for you if you are attempting to resolve a conflict between two parties, since he was skilled in bringing about peace among conflicting parties. You can also ask Pope Saint Leo the Great to pray for preservation of true church teaching, since he did a lot to combat heresies that were gaining prominence during his papacy. Thank you.